Happy Friday, kids. What is up? Feels like it's kind of slow. MC will probably go live here any minute. And it'll just drain. But that's cool. I will be here. But um, I'm glad to see you guys. I'm going to start at the bottom and say howdy to Colby. I tried to go through. Let me get Jim. While I was sitting there flipping around, I was trying to make the people I know moderators. Congratulations. Why can't I pin that comment from YouTube? Oh, congratulations, Neil. I missed JB's live. Let me find Jim. Howdy, Jim. I'm just modding you up real quick. There you are. Boom. Boom. That just allows you to uh, post links and protect yourself. If Shane comes in here and starts band hammering, he does it for fun. It's kind of his like initiation to, to love. Joe Isabella, happy birthday, Neil. Is it Neil's birthday? Happy birthday, Neil. That's awesome, Crazy Roach. Not that he's doing less lives, but that he's getting ready for the baby. I always focus that first. Marco, good to see you, buddy. Channel member, Mark Peaks, channel member. God, you guys are going fast. All right, maybe I'll start at the top. I'm going to start at... I'm going to start at Happy Birthday, Neil. And now I'm going to go down from there. So I'll try not to get too far behind. Steven Knott, channel member. We got Paul Mills, my brother from another mother, channel member. We got Joseph S., channel member. We've got Colby, and don't let me forget, I've got some notes, so I've got some updates, good updates. And then we got Crazy Roach, channel member. We got Chris, 229, channel member. Look at all the support, you know, all of you, more than you know. We've got Angelo, who's in here early, channel member. I chatted with him very early. We got Demonot, channel member. I think I said hey to Colby, but I'm gonna say hey to him again. Thank you, channel member. Brother Marco, and also a channel member. Todd Carr, my brother in, from the north, and the channel member. We've got Joseph S., who got the mod, the mod wrench. And Food Diesel, who's got a mod wrench. Use it with great responsibility, guys. Crazy Roach, however, does not have a mod wrench. Hold on, guys. I'm not going to get behind. I'm just going to find Crazy and mod him up. There it is. Boom. 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 All right, my friend. Feel free to share your social links. Feel free to um, get yourself out of timeout if that's a thing. If anybody puts you in there, not that they will. Um, Louie, good to see you, buddy. Good to see all you guys. I'm sure I miss people because I didn't even start at the top. Um, and if y'all are like me, a lot of times... I'm doing something crazy. Hey, Palmer, like laundry or folding or fucking with the cat or sharpening or just scooping off, tuning up a knife, and I'm listening. So I'm loving all you lurkers, too. Good to see you, Crazy Roach. You should have a wrench now, buddy. Double D10, what's up? You don't have a wrench. Hold on, guys. Bear with us while I find Double D10. Because he is very familiar and is is wrench worthy, shall we say? Why oh, aren't I seeing him? Crazy Roach has been a member for three months. Thank you so much, buddy. There's double D tent boom. Because I think as early comers, I think I'm going to have all you guys all mounted up, which is great. Because I want y'all to be able to share stuff. Like if you know a page of somebody that we need to give love to or that we all need to go sub to or your own pages. Tactical Terry, good to see you, buddy. Oh, is it loud? Hold on. I can change that. I can change that. Easy, buddy. I'm glad for the input. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go with something a little different and let's go lower. Can you hear that? Or is that too low? And some people don't like music. Like it when uh, Jason comes on in a little bit um, to show off a couple of things that he's been working on, I usually turn it off. 
But when I'm in lives, I like a little background music. But if it bothers y'all, let me know. I'm looking for a consensus. If you can hear it, great. I'm going to click it up one more to five. Because I went from 12 to five. Let's go to... Because, see, I can't hear it through my monitors. I can hear it, but it's so low. Let me find something more low-key. Acoustic. Mm. Let's see this. That's not acoustic. Is that too loud? Somebody give me an amen or a hell no. Turn. Just, somebody just tell me to turn it off if y'all don't like it. Satisfaction, Dwayne Letterman. Dwayne Letterman is not a mod. Hold on one second, Dwayne. You guys are chatting up a storm. Y'all are going fast. Roman M, I just passed you. You're not a mod. Hold on, Dwayne. I see you, but Roman's right above you. But I passed him. So I'm going to go back down to Brother Dwayne. And then I'll go back up and find Roman. There's Roman. Boom. Moderator. And I love seeing when you guys are chatting it up with each other. And I will get into the chat here in just a second. Dwayne Letterman. Oh, I missed him. He went by. There he is. Boom. Moderator. Which means you can protect yourself from shame. Brand, what is up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Good to see all you guys. It is Friday night. I'm borrowing a knife from my buddy that I didn't think I'd like, but when he got it in, I instantly fell in love with it. This is the Bird Blade Barber with my sweaty handprint on it, but it's the button lock. Check this out, guys. And it's got a detent. Look. Watch this front flip. I went too low. Hold on. Fits my hand like an absolute champ. I'm going to do an overview on it. Um, I'll cut with it. But it's a deep, deep hollow grind. I was never a fan of the mini barber. It was a little small. Because I'll be honest with you. I love my Sweeney. And I love my mini areas. But I wish they were like a little bit larger. Like I wish if they took the full size Sweeney and this baby Sweeney and maybe added a half inch to this guy, you know, split it between the blade and the handle. But this, this is perfection. Dean Griffin, what is up, buddy? Good to see you, man. And I mean, the, there's no button stick. It doesn't bounce out because the blade's so heavy. And listen to this. I don't know if my mic will cut it off. Here's a thumb flip. And I hate thumb flip. And here's a front flip. And I really hate front flipping. But the reverse flip. Cash money. Those studs are just. Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. I left the whole camera off. Because I was going to ask y'all another question as I get into my. But yeah, I think that camera. Even though that light might need to be dimmed, does a little better job. And I wonder, can y'all hear me when I make this solo solo layout? Can you guys still hear me? So as I show a knife, can you hear my voice? Thumb up or thumb down? If I get yes, you can hear me. Thank you, Brant. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm in a YouTube creator group, and I'm not sensitive, and I don't want to change what I do. Um, 
I love doing live streams. I love doing, I need to do more member content where it's face to face. Like I used to do give little updates, but to be honest with you, I don't have any mail calls really coming in. I might have one coming tomorrow. That's really exciting. And I'm stoked to be able to try out. Um, but it probably won't come till Monday with my luck, but this, these creators were talking about, you know, how you've got to kind of change it up and do things differently, which I'm not a big believer in, but I want y'all's feedback. This is, this is the way I enjoyed getting into the knife community, learning about knives. It was going to people's channels. I, I remember going to Stasa's. I remember going to Zach's. I remember going to MC's. I remember going to Slicey Dicey's. I remember going to Nick Shabazz's because I was kind of drawn to that table down view when I was looking at a knife, right? Um, but there's some really good creators in the space that do really, really good work. And they made a good point that, you know, you've got to kind of mix it up. So what? what's up, Cheeto? My brother, channel member, good to see you, bud. What I was thinking is, and I don't know, because I don't ever do edits. I don't know if y'all know that, but when I do a, uh, a video, I don't have a script. I'm talking about how the knife makes me feel after I've hung out with it for a while. There are great guys and gals to go get cut tests from. I can tell you one gal I would not go get a cut test from, but I'm not going to say her name or even go there. Um, but I think that the way I do videos, even though it's very amateurish, I think it gets the knife across, which to me is the goal is sharing a knife with you guys. But what I could also do, if that's a problem and if people are getting bored with that, is I could use the recording feature in StreamYard. And I could kind of start, I wouldn't have a bunch of knives, I just have a knife. And I could start, talk for a second, then make this screen big. There wouldn't be a black light on, lighting up the back there, so it would be brighter light. I'd put some other lights here, the other lights I use. But um, Kathleen, welcome, good to see you. But um, I'm going to put a poll up in the community tab, because I'm not going to make any rash decisions. I might mix it up, I might do it once a week and see how it goes see what people think like maybe on wednesday i'll do like a wednesday pontification and show off some old knife because i've got a bunch of old classic knives that are still available that i did a review on because as you guys know or don't know 98 to 99 percent of the knives that i review are knives that i bought um same with the ones i give away because i don't need them anymore right but um what I hope to do is maybe on Wednesday or a certain day, I can do a front facing video that also incorporates, you know, uses my web camera for my face, uses this camera for the knife or the disassembly. I think this would be a good possible area to do disassemblies. You know, now I could, I don't know if I can make myself tiny. Let's see. I can. So I could make myself tiny and do a disassembly here where y'all could see my struggling face and you could also see me working on the disassembly or I could just do a solo layout where you can hear my voice if you can indeed hear my voice, which is what I wasn't sure of. And uh, I think that's, I think we ought, to, we ought to practice with that. We ought to check it out, see what it's all about. And I hate this view, by the way. It gives me the creeps. So let's go back to this. So the barber button lock, a knife that I happened to be at his house when he unboxed and instantly fell in love with it. Guys, the blade on this thing is a chonker, but it is a, I don't want to cut off my notes that I've still got to go through you guys with. Deep hollow ground. I missed the fucking blade. It's just a slicer. And I've got a whole brand new coupon book behind me. And if you guys look at like the six foot radius around where I'm sitting and where my table is, because I do, 
I think I've told you all reviews on the other side of this table and I do my live streams on this side of my table, but it looks like a real lazy confetti maker who wanted to make big, like four inch square confetti in all different shapes and sizes has been dumping it over here on my, uh, on my floor. I got a sweep. All right. So video styles, we are going to check into that. Yeah. Personally, again, going back to me, but I never want to do a channel because that's something you're never supposed to do is find a channel that you liked. And it wasn't one channel. It was a style and then mimic it because you're alienating a lot of people. So I want to know what kind of videos you guys like, how much face you like. Kevin was always good about mixing it up. And I think with StreamYard, I've got a great way where I could kind of mix it up. So uh, I'm going to do a poll and I'll probably do it this weekend. I'd love for you guys to participate in it because those polls help me because I'll be honest with you, writer's block and I don't write, but concept block is a real thing, especially when you're not getting new knives in like I was several a week. Uh, I'm getting great knives. I mean, I've got my local buddy, A to Z EDC, and I'm going to share two Instagrams here in a second. Both Lord Dingham and uh, A to Z EDC. We're going to talk about this knife in a second, and the review is going to hit Tuesday. But I would have never experienced this knife had it not been for Lord Dingham. I like it. I think it's got good things, but in my opinion, it's got a fatal flaw. Fatal is kind of hard because... I gave it to my chubby handed buddy, A to Z EDC, and he did not have the same problem with it. So, um, all right. So the other thing that came in this week is, I don't know if I told you guys, well, I updated my email for the channel and, um, it is Javon's knife Flicks at gmail.com. I thought that'd be easier than Nas Live 2021 at gmail.com. I've still got that uh, address. And when we do Nas Live, we're going to use that. I'm not going to change the year because that was the first year we did it. Um, but I am going to start using Javon and I'll, I'll work them both. They both come to my phone. So don't, but it's, it's linked to my, on my link tree. It's linked in my bio. Um, and I've been reaching out to, companies through a couple of different apps that I learned about one share a sale their affiliate apps and the other one is Shopify and I wasn't going through there looking for products I was going there through there looking for companies like Kaiser or looking for companies like um, are, are y'all familiar with uh, Blackbeard Firestarter little fire starting ropes that are about this long they're black and they're you cut off a little piece then you dice it up make a little bird nest with it anyway i've had those before i've actually got one in my pack i'll get it in a sec but um and uh are you familiar with rife knives they make fixed blades i know they've got a drop coming to gp knives um on the 17th something like that 27th maybe i forget but they make a USA made quality. If I think it's USA made, we'll look at it in a second. Um, but like Blade HQ, I've always bad mouthed Blade HQ only because they're slow to ship. I agree with that. And I'm convinced that they raised the black mirror. That'll never change in my mind. But I do trust Jared. And Jared told me that he talked to them and they didn't realize the impact. They were thinking about it more of a business commodity type of decision, which, you know, that's another thing about bigger companies. They're not as attached to the community, but I feel Blade HQ tries to be. So I've got affiliate with those guys now. And with GT, not, GP knives, which I was really excited about because I order a lot of knives from GP knives. They're a smaller knife company. If you go back and look at my old videos before I ever, ever thought about using affiliate links, because I'm asking you guys this. This is this is me foreshadowing a question, right? So before I ever thought about affiliate links, if you go back and look at my old videos, the way I do it, because I always want the viewer to be able to find what I'm talking about. So I'll just link where I bought it. If I bought it at River's Edge Cutlery, 
I'd link that page. And then I'd also, with credit, take the description from the page and copy it in the description for two reasons. Local SEO or social SEO, so more keywords can be found. And so anybody who wanted to read about it, who wanted to set up, rule it out because it's too small without having to go look at it, because um, my hands can be misleading. It's a medium large hand, but I think it's only three and a half inches from here. Um, and a lot of people, my buddies tell me that's small. Yeah, it's three and a half inches. But anyways, so what I've been doing is I have been seeking out companies and only companies, CJRB. That's a company that I'm not going to get a lot of, but I was a huge fan of the Pyrite before I ever had a channel. And I've got reviews, if you go look at my playlist, of the CJRB, the one that had the little, uh, what was it called? The lock. It was kind of a cleaver blade. The CJRB Rhea was one of my favorites. So the reason being is this knife, for example, right here, this is the Kaiser Banish. It might look familiar because it's a Jacob Lundquist. This is not the Kaiser Vanish. This is the Kaiser Banish. This is the Cuvist Vanish. And this is the Cuvist Variant PE. So the Banish from Kaiser, I hit my hand, is like a mini Cuvist Variant in a button lock, and I've tried to spine whack it if you saw the unboxing. Haven't done the video yet. But this knife, Jason decided, or Jacob decided to license it to Kaiser instead of trying to do a production run. Guys, this knife's 45 bucks. In my Carta, 14C. This knife wasn't expensive. This knife in titanium, I wanna say, was around $135 in 20 CV. But my point is, A, I don't have disposable income now anyway. And when I did, I wasn't doing justice knives justice, right? I reviewed a few Kaisers like the Phoenix, the Veritas, or Veritas, the, uh, Drink water, I'm, I'm going to have to disagree with that. Some knives need a spine whack, but frame locks, I don't think they need a spine whack. It's not good for your knife, um, but that's neither here nor there. But great little knife. It's a big pocket carry knife, or like I look at it, if I'm going to an office or if I'm going to the pool and I just need a small blade, great little blade, 45 bucks, zero lock stick. The reason it doesn't drop more readily is I put no KPL in it, and it's got a very light, very light blade. Whoops. So I've reached out to some of these companies, and some of them aren't interested. And they're not. it's not a company-type thing where they send me products. It's just a deal where some of them will loan you a product, some of them will send you a product. This isn't the normal thing that I've been doing with Instagram, like with Voss Steve. Um, and I did get a Vosti link. They had always supported me, but I never had a link to their page. And what the link is, guys, and the reason I'm glad I've got a couple of retailers and I've got a couple of more pending is I do want to be able to drop my links in descriptions. And I never want y'all to feel like, and I'll never know if you don't, but I'm I rarely use links. Certain people's links I use, certain people's links I don't no hard feelings it's just one of those things that it doesn't drive the price up it's just something that i'm going to start doing i wrestled with it for a long time i'm not going to post them loud and proud but i will include them and they'll always say affiliate link so for example if i get a medford at river's edge cutlery and i don't have another link for the same knife i'm going to link river's edge cutlery I might send you to the Medford page as an alternative at Blade HQ. I don't think GP Knives carries Medfords. We'll look here in a second. But 
I do want to be totally transparent about that. And the most important thing is I pledge to never, ever, and my opinion is not a great opinion. I'm a user. I, when I say I'm a user, according to Erica, uh, not your average EDC, I don't use my shit. But I cut open packages, right? I, uh, I like to carry a knife. I like to cut paracord. I like to do, you know, I'll go out and cut vines because I've got a bigger knife in my hand. Or I'll cut out. These have been my two current knife buddies. Oh, y'all are all my knife buddies. But Brother Lord Datum sent me in the Archer, which I'll send you in a second. He sent me in the Oz, and he sent me in, and my buddy A to Z, and other knives. And A to Z is my local buddy who sent me the Chris Reeves. Let me borrow the Chris Reeves. Let me borrow the, La the Lamella, the Reich, which is not my jam. It's a trailing point. But, guys, that thing has an absolute amazing ergos. Very similar to the ergos on the Padre. I was amazed. I still hate the knife, but what I was showing this for is I use my knife for this. I've got scissors all around. I've even got a paper cutter from when I used to have to cut bigger stuff, but I use a knife and my straight edge because I, but so I'm using my shit, but not hard. So when I give an overview, I promise you it'll always be truthful. And I will always tell you whether I bought it or whether it was sent in from a company and if I would buy it. And if I say I would buy it, that means if I had, I'm not working now, but if I had my job, I would buy it because I was buying way too many knives and I appreciate it. So all of our styles are going to be different and all of our likes and dislikes are going to be different, but you've got my pledge that even if you start seeing affiliate links in my descriptions, you're not going to see me talk about knives that I would not personally buy. And most of the knives that are going to be on my channel are knives that I personally bought. Now, I do have a really, really cool knife that's supposed to come tomorrow, but it hasn't fucking left Georgia yet. So I might not get it until uh, Monday. This being a uh, shared with me from a company who wants me to make some content and do some testing on it where i will go out and actually chop some bamboo out of my backyard i've got some pretty big bamboo so those are i guess considered edits maybe jump edits so i'll start the video show the knife stop it walk my little tripod out do a little chop it i do dang I, but, but i have had vostead has started to send me knives and Kaiser sent me this little guy and it's hopefully if I can get some of these at least traffic to their site and I haven't done the review yet that they'll and I'm a huge Jacob Lundquist fan so I can already tell you I've been carrying it for two days and did the unboxing and I love the little slip joint vanish now these have 20 CV this is 14 C this is 45 bucks and it's a button lock. So, you know, it's it's just going to be one of those things that we'll see how it goes. I'm not looking to, by any means, make money on YouTube. I'm just looking to kind of recoup some cash if I can. Um, and we will have a giveaway tonight. It'll be a general, general channel giveaway. And we'll have a channel member giveaway next week. I've got something really, really cool. Greg, I love Jacob. I even bought his uh, beard comb, which is also a bit driver, too thin really to be a pry bar. I don't open bottles. Got really two bottles or, or a bottle opener or a can opener, but it's got a good beard comb. But somebody told me, I think it was Stevie and he's got the most regal beard in the community. And you shouldn't use metal beard combs. So I went on Amazon and I bought this comb for seven bucks and it's a winner but in either case that's going to be a couple of changes i think 
And you guys tell me, I mean, how do you, NFK20, what is up, channel member? Bitchcraft, what is up? Sit tight, buddy, and guys, I've got to give you guys wrenches because y'all are definitely wrench worthy. So when I was talking, if y'all just came in here, I have, I've been, I'm in a couple of creator groups and I always listen to what they're doing because they're bigger creators. And they kind of talk about the death of the table down view of reviewing and see when I started and have always watched reviews, I seek out those kind of reviews because I'm only really there to see the knife, even more so than to listen to the reviewer, depending on who the reviewer is. I want to see and listen to the knife. Um, so I think top down is the best way to show that, but I can also use StreamYard as a recording platform and switch back and forth between, to me, that's, that's putting extra time in a video that everybody's time is valuable. And I don't know if that would actually be something that you guys would appreciate. And the last thing I want to do is have. And I think y'all are close enough friends that you would tell me if the content was getting where it wasn't your jam or I was missing the mark. I was not viewing the right knives. Um, you felt that I wasn't being straight on a certain knife because we can always talk about that because everybody's opinions are different. For example, my fixed blade likes and dislikes are going to be different than probably 80% of you guys because I don't use a fixed blade like real men, and I say that jokingly, use fixed blades. I use it as either an EDC replacement or not a replacement, uh, enhancement, and I always carry them in my back pocket just because I like to be able to pull it out to open stuff. And I do have some larger blades but this is about as large as i like to go like this tk raider my se3 is just a little bit too big the guardian my bradford guardian 3 is great but the handle's a little too bulbous forest slr how are you brother welcome channel member and forest does not have a wrench kyle coonley what is up buddy let me get forced to wrench real quick guys I'm trying to wrench back up the people that I know. And if you guys aren't wrenched and I don't know you well enough, just keep coming back. Like Titanium Justin, I, I, I love the fixed canary. I've got the fixed Corvette S, which is the canary. I'm going to pull it up here in one second. All right, Gons, you're a mod now. So if Shane comes in here and bullies you, you can get yourself out. And you can also share links to your social media. Um, thank you, S.A. Yeager. That means a lot. I, um, what I've always tried to do, and at first I was a little too enthusiastic. Um, I want to always be authentic, authentically me. Uh, I just want to be, and I'm a, I'm kind of a boring guy, but I shoot straight and, um, what you'll find about me is I'm not a negative review guy because I'm one of those people who I'm not a people pleaser, but I don't like confrontation. So instead, what I would rather do is reach out to whoever sent me the knife. If it was a pass around, I just let it go. And I know there's a lot of there's a lot of good and bad to that, because if I get a knife that I don't like, I have a responsibility to share that dislike with the audience. However, sometimes I think that maybe the knife that I got is a lemon and I don't want to, and I don't guess knife companies are as hard, but I don't want to hurt anybody's business. I'd rather reach out and say, hey, Mr. and Mr. Knife Company A or B, the knife you sent in for review has this problem, this problem, this problem. I don't think it's ready to be released. I can in good faith review it and just let it go because other people will and other people will tear it apart. I just, it's not really my personality. I want to, and again, the reason you don't see a lot of negative reviews either is because 99% of my purchases, or say at least 90, have been led by reviews for reviewers I trust. And I don't go by the words they say. I think I've always said this. Like Lefty's a great example. 
Lefty and I like totally different shit, right? So um, he can hate a knife because of the detent, and I know it'll be just right for me. Um, I, I know enough about different, a couple of different reviewer styles that I can kind of get feedback from them. And I know they're shooting legit, right? Um, that's the whole thing. Um, and the great thing is with knives, with anybody you buy it from, unless you buy it from an individual on the secondary, if you don't like it, you just send it back. So it's really kind of a low risk game, but I just want you guys to know that you will see affiliate links kind of buried in the descriptions, but they're only there if you guys are going to get a knife, if you use it, thank you. If you don't, I love you just as much. I'll never know. And it's no big deal. And I was kind of just con convinced that if I was going to spend the time and people were going to let me use the links because they like to have the exposure, I might as well use their links since a lot of times I send people to GP knives. Blade HQ, I get a ton of descriptions there, especially in the old days. And when I did, I'd always credit their website and the link because I didn't want to get hit for plagiarism. Um, fidgets. Marisol, I tell you what, the fidget boy and this uh, Vertex, these are uh, Etsy fidgets and they're magnetic 3D printed. They're about 30 bucks. And Lefty turned me on to these guys and saying there's no need to get a Magnus or all the bougie ones he used to get. I want to say this guy's over in Atlanta and his are like 30. This is my least favorite of his, but I bought every one of his designs. And like this is a I want to say a $27 fidget. And it's just cash money if you like fidgets. And the reason I like these two is the titanium ones, which I've got back there. I've not experienced Louie yet, but we were on Lefty's Live last or Saturday. And if you look at the Chuka, Koopa Cabra, and I don't have the Savitri Vision in this case, but if you look at the Wii Vision, the Vision uh, R, not, or the Savivi Vision R, the one with thumb studs, and you look at the Chupa, Chupa Crabra or whatever, however you call it, they look very similar. And the only thing that they were talking about in the chat, and I didn't know this because I hadn't been following it, I like the knife. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But the fact that they talk in detail about the origination of the design and how it's such an original design and if you look at it next to the Savivia version of this and we'll do that that's what that's the that's how we did it last time now again i'm the first person to say all knives are gonna i mean there have been so many knives built there are always going to be similarities right so i think it's one thing to be able to say um this knife is a knife that was inspired by several other knives and was popular in the market blah 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 and then it's something else to talk about this is we spent three years in the lab developing this design yada 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 um so let's just look at these two side by side and i think i would have and again i don't I have no idea um, how to make or design knives or how to run a company, but um, Brother Kevin brought it up, and I found it very, um, very valid. I mean, it does look a little, it is a little strange, and and I'm not going to tell the story, but I don't know if y'all have watched. I'm not even going to say the video because I don't want to draw traffic to it. I love you all, though. FG. All right, so let's look at this. So we've got the Civivi Vision FG. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. And y'all tell me when you look at them side by side, because I never saw this before, but would you talk about, because you're using the same lock. Keep in mind, the same lock was licensed for this project and the tactile project so would you talk about it being totally original or would you talk about it being um a knife that you wanted to use the lock and not 
And again, may, maybe people's brainchilds can be, let's see if I can pull them both up if y'all see them. I don't know if y'all will or not. No, it's not showing you the side by side I got pulled up. But do y'all see, does anybody see? And I love, I love that you, I think it's a lot better knife. It's $249, my Wii in 20 CV, which I really like, was $250 at Blade Show. I think they might be a little more now. Let me pull back up the Chupachabra. The Chupachabra. Let's see if I can make myself kind of go beside it. Let's see if I can learn how to use this freaking... Uh, where'd it go? How'd I lose it? All right, guys, I lost it. I got to go find it again. Tactile. Chupa. Well, I told y'all, and I'll do story time later and tell you when the uh, Bobcat stopped me when I had a long board and I came to a uh, gravel road and it followed me home. Ed Harrison, welcome, buddy, channel member, and he has a wrench. I'm trying to keep an eye out on the chat to make sure I don't have any friends that don't have wrenches. When I cleaned house after um, brother... Kevin Beard went through some issues. All right, so can you guys see that real well? Look at it closed. It does have a little bit more exposed. But if you look at it, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can remove this. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, it wouldn't let me share it side by side. What the, what the F? Here we go. All right. And look at where the lock and how the lock works. Let me make this move a little bit. Do you not think that they would have been aware of this knife just because there have been two? There's one with thumb studs and the Savini, and they don't look identical, but I would have done something different with the blade myself. I would have. Um, just saying i think it's a great looking knife i think the price is for what it is is probably fair um i'm i've still got heartburn from this and it's got don't get me wrong it's got great action it's thin i don't know how and and my buddy a to Z, who's a, who's a portlier fellow than me, did not have the excruciating fucking pain that I have from holding this knife because the clip is freaking hideous. So I don't know if anybody checked it out and said, oh, the clip's great. Can we do something with the clip? The clip to me, because the knife's so thin, uh, no bueno. It's a deal. It's a it's a deal killer for me. Plus, for six hundred dollars for a USA made knife, I could buy a titanium shadow and have money left over. I could buy a full titanium hinder. That's buying the four hundred twenty five dollar hinder and the titanium scale. Yes, it's a totally different knife. I am $150 away from an uh, or a Koenig, and I'm about, what, $150 away from a Lamia, and I am $50 more than a Spartan Harsey, and it doesn't blow my skirt up. I'm very interested in the Chupa, the Koopa truck Cobra Lily. I'm not I'm not dishing on it. I'm just saying I thought and and Kevin we were talking about Kevin's knives looking like other people's knives. It just came up. And the archer's great. I don't have a problem with it. Does it how does it feel in your hand? Like if you if you cut cardboard with it, which I cut a little cardboard and then I cut some cardboard in my uh because it, it cuts great. I mean it's thin, 
It's slicey. It's it's got action is good is any I mean the actions as nice as the areas. Good thing I didn't go about the alarm I had set on my watch. I set it an hour late. It just went off. So I'd have been an hour late if I'd have fallen asleep. Crispy Critter, what's up? My brother from another mother. Pat, one minute knives of you. But yeah, y'all tell me, tell me, Louie, if yours feels okay in the hand. And there's nothing wrong. I've, I've got a lot of knives that I love that aren't the most comfortable. And that doesn't make me not love them anymore. I'm just curious if it's, I've got thinner hands. I mean, I'm a thinner guy, right? I'm, I'm what I call a little guy. Banny rooster. But don't let that fool you because I was a badass fucking wrestler. And if I went into the, US, the UFC at my age, all I need to work on is my striking and a couple of choke out. All right, Michael up church. Did he step out of line or y'all playing with each other? Okay, I, I'm trusting you guys, but I know Michael's a channel member, so y'all don't put each other in timeout for no reason or I'll take your wrenches. I'm just not reading everything as much as like, I saw the short on Joey Rose. Hey, uh, Renee, his knives are absolutely fantastic. I don't know if y'all follow him on Instagram. We're going to go look at it in one second. As a matter of fact, we're going to look at him right now because he had a couple available. I hope y'all don't mind me sharing off stuff that I follow on Instagram. Because again, I won't ever show you guys stuff I don't dig. But if I dig it and I don't share it, I always say it might not be your jam. Because I've looked at knives like that Lamella that I reviewed that has no hardware. It's absolutely fantastic. Look at that little guy. 165 inch sheet. I bet it's a chisel grind. Let's look. Well, he doesn't have it. Let's look at the other side. But he does some absolute amazing knives. I think mine's called the Mini Tonto. I don't really remember because it's been several years. The Joey is. I mean, look at that that scale work. Or that handle work. Hold on, guys. I might have to go shoot a coyote. I heard something weird. Let me check on tip tip real quick. Y'all sit tight. I'm going to leave you. Are y'all looking at what I think you're looking at? Yeah, let me find y'all some cool stuff to look at. I mean, ferro rods that match the knives. I mean, check that out. A little ice pick or a little pick. And I love his fuller. I think his fuller is kind of his his calling sign. Look at that little guy. But if you don't follow Joey, I'm going to drop his name in the uh, chat. And I don't know if y'all are like me. I follow a ton of IG people. Just because I like to see different knives. I'm sure it is, and I'd love to check it out. I really would. I'm just right now I'm on a bite freeze. Yeah, we don't want that mare salt. But I'll tell you what. I don't know if y'all watch the videos like I do on Instagram, where cats chase off bears and all kinds of bigger animals. Tippy's fearless, and Tippy lived when she was about two years old. When I separated from my ex, and my mother and my monster-in-law moved down to stay at my house before we could sell it, Tippy was like, fuck this. And she ran away, right? We thought she got eaten by a coyote, but she went missing for six months. 
my daughter found her on Facebook. I said, don't get your hopes up. There's no way that Tippy is eight and a half miles from her house down by the Tennessee River. Dude, the cat is gangster. We picked her up. We came home. She was back to her normal stuff. Went to her and she hadn't run off since. But it was that, it was her monster in law. Give me a two seconds, guys. This is going to be a funny question, and I'm not trying to size shame anybody, but do we have any mediums, any mediums in the audience, shirt size? Because if not, you can make a hank out of one of the things I'm giving away tonight. Louie, I want one of Steve's blades so badly. His knives are so nice. Let me show you guys another knife, if I can find it. What? Is it still sharing? I wasn't meaning to be sharing. Let me see if I can find this little USA-made knife that I've never heard of. I want to say it's. Have y'all heard of Met Force? They make fixed blades or Met Tech. USA made. They weren't cheap. They were little Magna Cut, little small EDC fixed blades. White Mountain knives had them, and see let me find it let me find it i forgot what it was called so i'll never find it let me go to white mountain knives i can find it there let's find that little fixed play let's go knives fixed blade knives let's go from newest items I'm curious if y'all know anything about A, the company, and B, the knives, because the size looks very intriguing. I have a feeling it'll take me forever to get Scott at Aries EDC because he's so on fire. I feel bad to even ask him when he could make one. Um, and I know how it goes. You know, he's... Have y'all seen these? I'm just, I haven't, see, I haven't been looking at any websites lately, but have you seen these little CJRB fixed blades? They seem kind of high, 43 bucks, AARP and nine. What kind of sheets it come with? A little leather slip? Out of stock. Let's see. There's that Corvette S. That's the $49 version and 14C. That's a good knife. All right, let's go back and find this little USA made mech force that I was telling you about. And I hope y'all don't get totally bored with fixed blades. Whoops. Not a buck. Not a cubie. Not a cubie. Not a cubie. I like to see some of these companies make more fixed plays. This little guy, the chip. It's got the size of a quarter and it's got a little slip. That might be kind of a cool knife. This one right here. Have y'all seen these? Has anybody heard of Neck Force Ben Crine fixed blade? This is a Topo G10 handle with Magna Cut, plain edge. Let me tell you the sizes of it. It's 5.12 inches long, which is my size. I know it sounds tiny. Two and a quarter inch blade, 
Magna Cut, it does not have a hardness. Let's see if we go Ben Cron. Copy. Paste. Let's go Ben Cron. Mech Force. See if I can get any more information on it. But have y'all seen that little knife? Has anybody experienced it? Checked it out? If I was buying knives, I would buy one. All right. So Mech Force is a company? Why don't I know anything about these guys? Where'd it go? What's it say? What's it say? There's one in Ultim. And just a little supply joint cutting 60 Magna Cut. They don't have an HRC. Now on the Mech Force site. So let's go back to Google. Whoops. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't show up in a lot of different places. So I just didn't know if y'all had heard about it. And I know that uh, fixed blades aren't everybody's jam. Messer, morning, buddy. Let me drop a uh, let me drop a wrench on you. Whoops. Neck force, neck force. Hmm. Where are you at? Where are you at? really interesting because they were kind of high i was surprised and i'm one of those idiots that when i read blade materials and i haven't heard about something i'm a guinea pig for a lot of that shit um if it's within my range but it's a little higher and it's got what looks like good materials, like Magna Cut, and it's small. I'll take a chance on it. Again, I'm probably not the best for those hard use tests, but the great thing is, Stas is going to put the cut tests on almost anything. I started to cut a little cardboard, but I just. If, if I do a lot of cut tests, I'll go ahead and tell you. If, if I started doing a lot of cut tests with like cardboard and stuff, I would always have stitches. I mean, I would like, I would drive it into my hand and I'm willing to bleed for you guys. Come in deep metal and I've, I've done it. I've got a little bit on my, uh, on my mat over there, but I don't want to like slice into my hand. Pat's got a wrench. And then I'm going to get back to the chat. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going through real quick. There's somebody I was looking for. Messer HQ. There he is. Boom. All right. I'm back to what I'm supposed to be doing, which is checking you guys out. Blade Walker, what's up? Greg Maroney, what is up, buddy? What else do I have out here that's different? Um, I had the Archer. I took back the uh, the Lamella and the Chris Reeves today because I picked up the Barber button lock. And I picked up, well, I've got this from uh, Lord Needham, which is getting a review. Probably in height after this is over well after maddie but it's a beautiful knife don't get me wrong the flippers detents dialed perfectly 
It does. I've had it double clutch only a couple of times because the detent ball, like if I, I exaggerated that, right? So the flipper tab, you've got to kind of put your finger down there, but it's tuned perfectly. For me, the clip eats into my hand when I cut a bunch of shit. But I'm very impressed with this little $45 vanish. I did not think I would be because I didn't think it would have detent. It has no button stick. I'm telling you, the blade is just very light. So you kind of got to give it a little, a little flippy flippy. And I'm sure it'll break in. I think this came yesterday, the day before. But 45 bucks from Kaiser. And I don't know if y'all saw the post today I made. Um, I've got a review coming up tomorrow of a unique Kaiser October. It's a prototype that I won um, off Jared's Live. And I just kind of wanted to point it out and talk about it because I had the bacon micarta. Um, oh, I misspelled that. I had the bacon micarta October and I gave it to brother um, Stark Gravity. So I thought he'd enjoy it. But if you go to Kaiser Knives, and you want a titanium October, you can say 40% on a sheepdog. But the real deal for me, and I'll put a link in the video that's coming out, and I can drop a link in the chat, but let me find it, October, October, 87 bucks. It's 50% off. That's the titanium 20 CV. If anybody thinks that's something that they're interested in, Drop a link in there. Yeah. It's weird. Bear with me, kids. The noise I heard that I thought was coyotes or kids playing basketball out in the yard, not in my yard, but in the basketball goal in front of the neighbor's house. So let's go to create a custom link. Let's copy this. And this will be an affiliate link if you guys want to go grab one of these. If you don't, that's cool. I just think for 87 bucks, if you were looking for an October, in titanium that's a good price and they still have some in stock a lot of their real cheap sale stuff and you might browse through their page or their pages because they've got several things in stock let's see if i can go paste create custom skip this step get short link Copy. So this is for the $87. Todd Carr, thank you. Member for 10 months. Kaiser October. Ty 20 CV. 87 bucks. I don't have any codes for them. Chef Rocky, what is up, brother? But I was surprised because I was going to link it to Amazon and Amazon, it was like 168 bucks. And then at Kaiser, it was uh, 87 bucks, which I thought was very uh, reasonable. So these are those rife knives that I was telling you all about. I don't know. 
how involved I'm going to get with them because they only have one that's kind of small. Dude, I love that. Don't care anything about the auto bench made mini. All right. They're coming into River's Edge Cutlery. Hold on. I thought they had a small one coming in. Let's see. Shop new. I've also got a Countycom affiliate link in my link tree now. You know, I buy a lot of that weird shit, like my little sapphire magnifying glass, a lot of my little titanium keepers. Where is that thing? That looks sweet. Six and a half inches, I like that, but I don't like the leather. Oh, it's Kydex. I don't know why I don't see the. Maybe they're dropping it DLT. They had a bunch of them there and they had a little small one. That I kind of like because I don't really have a lot of use for a big. Fixed blade knife. Yeah, they're here. All right, here the rice. It just hit. Let's see if I can find a little one. Let's do this. Well, let's see if that's taking us all there together. This. They've got a little EDC series. I hate pop-ups. But it's still a little big. Let me find that. It's F3 EDC. The blade, the handle's four inches. So I think it's about a seven inch knife. Let's see. 6.7 inches. 3V, 5860. Replace that clip. That's a cool little knife. And then they've got a bunch of big ass or what's the F3 companion? It's got a little bit bigger blade, so it's going to come in probably 6.7 inches, same size. What the fuck? Oh, it's the same thing? Duh. But they carry some big stuff, too. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever work with them. But I would like to get some companies... I'd like to get in good with Kaiser because I used to buy when I first started a whole lot of Kaiser and I loved them all. I and mean, I've given you guys a lot of them and they're good knives. Um, and that way I could bring some more value price stuff into the channel. Um, but unfortunately or fortunately, I think they've got a couple of guys that they sell, send pretty much everything to, to check out. But if I can get one or two here or there, that'd be great. Because I've got a lot of knives I can go through in A to Z's collection. But, you know, it's going to be something like this that's going to be available again, possibly. But it's not available now. And I think it was around 385 which is not within everybody's reach. It wasn't in my reach when it came out. But I do want to have some more 
good value little knives because I really think this uh if you like the Cubist if you like the variant or the vanish this is going to be the exact same size as the vanish slip joint just on a button lock Instead of it being a slippy, it's a button lock. And it's 14C, I think. See, that's what I use my little sapphire magnifying glass with a titanium ring. Vanish. It's 14C. And I read that off of that on the top of the spine. One fifty four CM, I'm sorry. But this little thing I picked up at County Com, it came just like this. It came with this little rubber holder. It comes with an orange little ro rubber holder. This one glows in the dark. And it comes with an extra gasket if you want to take it out for whatever reason. It's like 34 bucks. And then I picked up this little guy there. This is a mini Sharpie holder. It's got a O-ring in it. I picked up this little guy that you can keep pills in. I keep uh some of my bits in it and keep it in my bug out bag but i might do a video and it's not a show video it'll just be a video on things that i picked up from county com that are still in stock like my laser my little mini or my full-size laser emitted reflector light that shoots forever then they also sell these Meritech lights, which are more of a flood. But they sell a little, I buy for like seven bucks. I'll get three little plastic pry bars from them. Like this little guy here to use it to help pop off scales or pop off a line. And then they also make little metal ones that aren't much more expensive. Um, they've got cool stuff. I don't know if y'all have ever been to County Con. They've also got some really weird stuff that I would never use. Like they sell this radio that people rave about. And I guess it's like a emergency radio and a two-way radio tell if y'all can see this and we're not going to go through this for long but while we're waiting for people to drop in they've got weird shit right so they've got some of the stuff i've bought is i've got one of these that I take in my backpack with me when I go camping. It's pretty big. It is a uh, 3.23 inches long. It's just a titanium tube. And then I picked up uh, uh I've really gotten a lot of stuff from them because I find their stuff cool and you don't see it everywhere. So this little guy is the Delrin one. I picked up one of these in titanium. We'll see if we can find it. But they've got weird shit, right? I mean, on the go bit holder, non-slip. And it's these, ra these radios. They've got these radios with these skeletons, and they make all these different 
and like they make this thing it's a drop block for a robot it's just so you can own a piece of history it's just this titanium block why in the world would you want that that's the robot arm but it evidently comes from some they buy us allegedly they buy us overstock stuff but here is I just run to this stuff out on I bought these look cool but they were too small they make big ones too they're kind of like silicone trays they've got these little breacher bars I've never bought one of those this is the little thing I bought the little titanium slider that I just showed you guys and then i bought several drivers from them the drivers i need to make some drivers in a getaway you can buy a robot arm it's just the gripper set and it's 450 bucks by the way it's not the whole robot where in the world this looks cool i've wanted one of these they make them in three sizes and they store up in each other so they make a little guy a big guy and a medium guy and they store in the center here and then you screw them in so if you want to hook them up in a tree to or you know whatever you want to do to grapple something if you want to drag it through the water not that i'd ever use it i just thought it was kind of cool I've got some of these, these little cleaning sticks. You can get them in titanium for like, they're a little bit more in titanium, but the plastic ones are like two bucks. That's what I just showed you guys. And they're great for popping off liners. They've got doodads got air cord dispensers i haven't bought any of that stuff i have bought where are my lights uh, where are my lights they sell watches i'm not into watches i bought some batteries from them for my lights i bought one of these i gave it away i had a black one There's one of the bigger glow park trays, and that's one of the driver sets I've got. We'll come to it in a second. It's a little, uh, I keep it in my work backpack. But they've got, you know, all kinds of different stuff. So, yeah, y'all check out these guys. And I might do a review on some of the products I picked up from them. I'm trying to find that laser this right here all right this is my big daddy the one i put tritium in no it's not that's a different light damn it because it gives you some amazing specs on how far it shoots where is it damn it It's a laser emitted projector, so it's probably going to be sold out. Where is it? And this stuff comes back in stock all the time. So there's a big titanium press fit capsule. So if you want to carry a bunch of shit out in the woods. So here's a mini LEP flashlight. This is a small one that I just showed you guys. This thing shoots allegedly one half mile throw, visible. For over 25 miles so if somebody's looking at you and you're trying to get their attention they can allegedly see you from 25 miles away i don't know if that's true or not but it sounds pretty wild so pocket metal wasn't going to be able to join us because it is shimmyette's birthday and he's been working really hard crew wears the best what is up
I need to see that. What do we got here? What do we got here? Let me get to it. So did you guys, uh, what did everybody carry today? Let me find this link. Hold on. Don't hold that thought. I'll show you what I carried and then you guys tell me what you carried. Uh, <laughs> What's up, Crew Warrior? How are you, brother? Good to see you, man. So I carried the second half of the day. I carried the archer the first half of the day. And then when I went over and did some knife flipping out with my buddy A to Z, I picked up this in my back pocket. I've got an Oak City leather slip, and I've got my Crewwear Apprentice. I can't tell you how much I love these little knives. That's what I cut out my labels with for A to Z EDC and for Brother um, Lord Needham. See a titanium pill cutter available anywhere? You know. I'm sure they make one. I've never seen one. I've seen the, you know, the plastic ones. I used to use them all the time. I used to use, I wish they made a nice little titanium small grinder back in the day. Titanium pill splitter. Let's see. And then I carried this. They sure do, buddy. I found one for you here on one on AliExpress. We want to stay away from there. Check this one out, buddy. I'm going to drop a link in the uh, chat and tell me if you can link on it. I'll even pin it to the top because there are other ones in there. Oh, God damn it. It's telling me it's too long. Let me take it to my bit.ly. Hold on a second, guys. I got to drop it in my bit.ly. Make it smaller. Bitly link dashboard. Give me the link. Give me the link. I want the link, bitch. Where is it? Okay. Give me two seconds, guys. I want to upgrade. I just want a link. I want to make it short. Now I do a new link. Create new. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Paste. Enter. So this should take you to a. Uh, This should take you to a pill cutter that's titanium that's 24 bucks. Now it may be too big. We may have to look a little more, but this is one on eBay that looks pretty legit. Crispy Critter carried a Psy 2 regrind four inch Harsey. I saw a picture of that beautiful bitch today. Josh Branson, good to see you, buddy. I hope everything's going okay, man. S.A. Yeager carried the Mercury Calorie today and a leak. The Mercury Calorie is a banger. I love that little knife. A dark matter American Blade Works. Sounds beautiful. Greg, if you got your variant or your PE2 all blacked out, you need to drop you 45 bucks and get a little black uh button lock banish the one he did with kaiser mine just came in and it's freaking awesome mallory forest b1 carbon fiber s35bn still my favorite mallory design night i still got that and i absolutely love it snow Tribe carried his kalari huck XM24 plus the usual G17. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Let's see what else we got down here. The Mini Marauder and the Kamano from Drink Water. Love it, love it. It was the one I found, was it? Aluminum? Oh, fuck. It might have been aluminum. Hold on a sec. It looks aluminum. But I Google titanium. Fuck. I mean, it's hard when you dig through these. Brand new items. Yes, yeah, aluminum. I'm sorry, dude. That's not what we want. But if I go to images, I bet you I can find one. Aluminum. Guys, I'm coming back to you. It's just my brain. Ooh, look what I found. Oh, that's a microblade pill. So that's not as much of a splitter as it is. It just looks like a pill and it's a little titanium microblade. Let's see. Let's see. That looks like it's aluminum too. Let me see. Great for pets too. That's aluminum. I'll have to go look. Have you looked on Etsy? I'm just looking at images. And I always see tubes. It would just make sense that they would make a little a little slicer, a little chopper, you would think. Now here's a little titanium grinder. If you want to snort them cut them in half and snort them i'd have to go back to uh aa if i started doing that but yeah they've got some pretty cool ones um they've got a cool little grinder and i don't know if that'd be something if you could grind it and put it in water or grind it and put it in something that you eat like cut it in half and grind it up or grind it up and then cut take you well then i'd be back on things i don't need to be back on if i started grinding stuff up turn it into powder well i did tell you guys thanks to palmer kindly i found out that servant knives is going to be back in business soon making these little simpleton knives and some of his other blades and this is a little 3v chunky beast and this is about the size fixed blade that i really like to carry they're just bangers What'd you do, Palmer? Share, buddy. It would be sick, Paul. And I'll try to, um, I know there's got to be one that exists. I mean, do you think about it? They make titanium everything. If they're making them out of aluminum, it's just a matter of somebody saying, all right, instead of 24, do you think somebody will pay 69? And I'm sure somebody will. I bet those pill grinders are pretty popular. Anything in it worth showing? I'm really liking this knife, guys. And they just came back in stock. I don't know if they're still in stock. The silver ones were Max Ace. They will take about three weeks to get here. But it's San Mai in uh, SD Magic for $108. It's a full sized rocking blade. 
Pam and Ninja, what is up, brother? Thank you, man. Seven months. You were awesome carrying the PM2, Manix 2, Corbett S fixed blade around the neck. Nice. I want to show y'all something real quick because he just reminded me of that. Y'all know who Get Good Screw is, right? They make drivers. They, uh, I reached out to them. I, I keep in contact with them about what they're doing new and they joined forces with this company that makes scales. Let me find it. God damn it. I open up. It's K R E W. There it is. All right. Let me show you guys this real quick and tell me what you think. I told them my feedback was I'm not a fan of brass. Because I was looking at these PM2 scales. I need some PM2 scales. So the 17 EDC stuff, the bug out scales to me look sick. So they got this card knife, which is just a credit card that has a sharpened corner. Doesn't do anything for me. They've got all these PM2s that I love, but I don't want a sterling silver. I don't want a pair of slide backspace, or I guess you can put that on a pair of cord and slide it down to your buddy camping. Fuck, I don't know. Um, I don't really want a kerpel nip because I don't know what that is. I don't know. These just seem heavy to me. But then they've got these bug outs, guys. Look at these dragon scale, carved stone, stone wash frag, the super grip, and the tactical mag are 95. They're all 95 bucks for 535 scales with more coming soon. I thought that was pretty cool that they're partnering up with somebody that has scales that seem to be very, no lanyard hole. It's gone. Digging that. See if it shows us the inside. Milled out. And they look contoured to me. I don't like that one. Eh, that's all right. I think I like the stone or the dragon scale. But I've got two of my... Um, I really don't need bug out scales. What I need is um, some PM2 scales. So I'd like to see the PM2 scales look more like the uh, bug out scales. These look like it's, it looks like it's two parts. It looks like you've got it, maybe not, maybe not have an inset. And I bet they're freaking hungry. I mean, hungry. I'm hungry. I bet they're heavy. And then they got some new, uh, and they're drivers, guys. I know you can get a driver on Amazon where I got, and I, I've got more drivers than I would ever need. But they've got drivers that are right over 100 bucks that are, um, they got some that are 700 but they've got little titanium drivers for a buck and a quarter. And they've got some in fancier finishes. They've got some steel ones, a little less. They've got zirconium for under two. I just think they do neat stuff. I don't know where they do it though. Are they in uh, are they in China? Mm. Hong Kong. Yeah. Yes, China. It is China. Yeah, I sent a guy 
I did a solid today. I sent a guy that I used to do some business with, one of my Benchmade uh, deep carry clips, and put my uh, OG clip. Back on my 945. I carry it so rarely. It's more of a collection piece. To remind me of the earlier days. Palmer, I'm going to show you a trick. Because I do that and it pissed me off forever. But then I found the biggest trick in the world. And if you were here or if you were close, I could put T8s in your hand right away. Let me go to my orders. Let me find this. Where is it? Where is it? Buy it again. Buy it again. Where are they? Y'all, I buy too much shit on Amazon. All right, I want y'all to... Palmer, take a look at this. We'll put a link in there for you. Now, you can get cheaper T8s, but these are Weehaws, and I buy these guys 18 at a time, and I buy my... Uh, T6s, I think they only come in 10 packs. But that'll take you to Amazon. And if you just search Amazon Weha, that's my link. But if you just search Amazon Weha T8, it'll pull up this 10 pack, which looks like this right here. And I haven't gone through one yet. I've had it for a while because I don't like my bits to get very worn once they start to wear. But you can get you a 30 pack. I'm sorry. And then when you go T6, I couldn't find them in a big pack. I could find them, I think, in a. In like a 10 pack, maybe? Because I ordered them too. Yeah, there's a 10 pack that I picked up. So they come in one of those plastic sleeves like that. But it's plenty of T6s to keep you going for a while. But for some reason, they don't sell them that I can find on Amazon in those 30 packs where I would buy them. And I'm also a big, if, if you don't want an expensive driver, Grab, where's my mag? They make this little Weha driver. Let's see this. And they make one for Torx. And this little guy, what? Uh, Also buy one of those. Uh... So that's just the handle. I go with. What is it? Yeah, the one I go with. This one right here. Because it's a little stubby handle, but in the handle it's got. A, it doesn't have a T6 though. So for your pocket clips, you're still going to need a T6. But I always buy one of these to go with it. Because like I've got a Medford that uses a T20. This has got T5s, T6s, T7s, T8s. Not that you'll ever need those. But, you know, for 35 bucks, you can get a driver in one of these sets and have everything you ever need. You don't need any of the bougie drivers. It's just as you get into enjoying shit like that and you get into really taking your stuff apart. 
my buddy A to Z still is like, I don't understand why anybody take their stuff apart. You know, I don't understand why you do it. And I'm like, well, I'm curious about it. You know, I like to see how it works. It's not that my skiffs are going to necessarily make it better, but it's going to make it more stable. It's going to give it a larger surface area to ride on. That goes without saying. Um, yeah, I'm just a... Um, I'm a big fan in them. I need to order some more skiffs too, because I'm out. And I, there are a couple of knives. I'm trying to think what I'd, I'd like to put skiffs in this. I bet this uses five millimeters. Because I need to put some oil in it or loose. Maybe I just need to loosen it. Yeah, that's Guys, this music's killing me. Let me change it slowly. Still dead nuts. I barely gave it anything. It has no side to side, no up and down. And now I don't have to give it that little flick like I did earlier. They just had it a little bit tight. Whoops. But guys, for 45 bucks, if you're looking for a small, if you like the Jacob Lundquist designs, or if you collect them like I do, and this came kind of gray. If you look at my unboxing, it was very gray, but it's black micarta. So I just took a little bit of Wicked Wax. That stuff that Dupree Ford sells. He'll have some samples at Blade Show. But you just get a little bit on your finger and you can rub it in your micarta. You can rub it on your blade. Um, it's a moisture resistant, corrosion resistant. And it really does do a good job to uh, to condition your... Um... Good to see you, Twain Thing. You listen away, buddy. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it works good on a lot of stuff. I think you could even use it for beard wax if you wanted to. What's up, Gracian? Yeah, that's what I do, Pitt. I get a little on my finger, and I'll rub it into my micarta. And I'm also real bad about, I like to rub my blades. So I've learned from pain and suffering that I never want to rub it sideways because I've sliced off like little thin parts of my finger. But I love to just take it and apply a little bit. And once I get both sides coated, I will uh, see that. You all see that gooey stuff on there? Oh. Away from the blade. So that's a coat of wax on it. And then I'll let it sit there for maybe a minute i don't even have to let it sit there for a minute but i'll close that up i'll put my grab my uh little rag over here and then i'll just wipe it off And at Blade Show, he had a bunch of tool steel knives or tool steel blades, and he would treat them with this and hang them in a fish in a fish tank. And he also makes a cleaner. So he, he makes Wicked Wax, which I just used, and he makes Wicked Clean, which is kind of like a low grit flitz. So, like, if you've got tape residue or if you've got smuts on your blade or you want to do some light buffing, we can cleanse your stuff. What's up, M-Bomb? 
Mimo, what is happening? Good to see you guys. But yeah, for 45 bucks, and all I did was gave that the tiniest little tweak on the uh, on the pivot. Got the little projected flipper tab. Fantastic little middle finger, little thumb flicker. And unboxing, you can see that I spine whack it, even though I don't believe in that shit. Just because I use my knives the right way. Not that there's a wrong way. Well, there is. But I'm telling you guys, I forgot who told me. But if you get into the habit of just spine whacking your knives to test them, you can mess up that lock bar geometry. You can weaken because it's not designed to be whacked that way. It's designed to lock up, but it's not designed to get a lot of force from the back. I mean, I know we could go back to do a Michael Myers and whack something. It could happen. Howdy, Barry. But the reality of it is, if we're smart, if we think of everything like it's a locking knife, which means it's a huge advancement over a slip joint, right? Um, but that doesn't mean I can throw caution to the wind. I still have to use common sense. And uh, in my opinion, because I grew up around a dad with PPs, um, you just got to be very careful. Tactical Terry. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And I, I do kind of, and, and I rarely agree with Lefty, but he believes that you should be able to whack it one time. Because in a real world environment, you're rarely going to whack it more than once. And if you might whack it a couple of times, you might be able to vibrate it out of its lockup. Where if you have a catastrophic failure, like if you hit the hit hood of a car, you're rarely going to do it two or three times. You're probably only going to whack it once. But you can still jam up your lock bar if it's a frame lock, depending on how it's cut, depending on how it's set up. And I also believe that if I'm holding a frame lock, that's not a frame lock. Yeah. Okay, I'm holding the archer. It's a frame lock, right? So if I whack it and it came out, that's one thing. But if I'm holding it and I go back and hit something, liner locks and button locks are weak. I agree with that. But a frame lock, with your hand, in my opinion, giving it more engagement with the lock face, it's going to be less likely to fail if you have a good grip on it. But I realize there's just like steels and everything else. There are a bunch of opinions and they're all valid if you believe them. I'm not here to change them. I'm just here to tell you it doesn't really bother me that much. And I'll never make a video on it because it would just be so boring to me. I literally have to come up with an idea in my head. If I do a bunch of knives, like a group of knives, I will write down what knives I think should go together in that. And then I just ad lib. I set up my camera. I go. I try to point out the things I like. I forget a lot. Y'all will see in the uh, October that comes out, tomorrow i think and i make a if you go to my description the first thing you'll see is me correcting it i think doc made the october y'all tell me if i'm wrong they made the uh, sheepdog i think it's the same designer that made the october and the sheepdog and the sheepdog mini well through the whole video i called it the sheep foot and the sheep foot mini i caught it at the end but i wasn't going to reshoot the video because it's just not the biggest deal to me. I mean, I knew what I meant. I wrote a disclaimer. People can hate on me in the uh, comments. I don't care because I rarely get to them. I don't do it because I don't care that people leave comments and I urge people to leave comments. I will one day sit there and read all the comments and try to reply to them. And every now and then I'll be looking at my phone 
because it, for some reason it doesn't buzz, but it'll show up, and I'll see a question, and I'll immediately answer it. And then I start feeling guilty that people who left a comment around that question are going to think I'm overlooking them. And I promise you, I'm never overlooking comments. I just rarely get in there. I rarely get into my Instagram messages, maybe two or three times a week, maybe four. Um, but yeah, the the Javon's Knifelix at gmail.com comes right to my phone. So that'll be an instant way to get me. Um, and then the Knives Live 2021, I'll probably silence it, but I'll probably continue to check it until I do something with Knives Live. I want to give it a month or so for people to, and I thought it'd be easier when somebody wins something that they just go to Javon's Nice Flex at gmail.com. I tried to just do Javon at gmail.com, but there's a Javon. And they wanted me to put some fucking number, and I was like, no. And then I thought about Javon KF, and I was like, no. Why don't I just, just do Javon Knife Flex? It was available. It's a little more to type. But if you save it in your contact list, you can reach out pretty quickly if you win or if you have a question. Drink water gifted a membership and I missed it. I've been missing you guys. I've got a lot of people that have been members for a long time. Let me find who drink water gifted to. Guys, I'm sorry. I've got to get better. I've got to get better. What happens is my brain goes in different places. I don't know why. I just I'll be thinking about I'm wondering where that fucking cat is. Oh, there she is. Hold on a second, guys. And I'll tell you who drink water gifted to. Because next week we are going to have a channel member giveaway. Tonight, we're going to give away. Oh, let me minimize this. And then I'll go rescue the cat. So we're going to give away a Joe Isabella badass handmade coin. We are going to give away a concept slit joint in carbon fiber S35VN. This is kind of a premium giveaway that I'm just doing for everybody because I didn't. Now, if we don't know you or nobody knows you because I don't publish giveaways, we might draw one. And then I'm giving away... It's probably going to be too small for most of you, but I'm giving away a medium, one of two of the OG Grateful Panic shirts before he was told that he couldn't uh, use that design anymore. Stevie got one, and I got one. And it's been worn very rarely. It's in good shape. Maybe your, your girlfriend, your dog, you can make a hank out of it, or maybe it'll fit you. Um, but I'm going to send it out with the concept, uh, what's this little knife called? The concept, hold on a second, let me tell you what it's called. Concept, I think it's the Belly, Belvy concept. Slip joint. And it's very sharp, great little modern knife, and it's kind of small, so it's great for just dropping in your pocket. It's called the uh, it's called the bevy, and you can get a bevy for sixty seven bucks in fourteen C. But this is the carbon fiber with the uh, where did I put my flipping uh, magnifying glass? Let me tell you what this has got in it before I misrepresent it. All right, let's do this. Slip joint. Bevy. Here it is right here. I'm going to share it. We'll look at it together. It is S35 VN. It's a Nick Swan design. It's a little bevy wedge. Very cool little knife. 
jungle wear carbon fiber, 2.9 inch blade, 5.6 inches overall. Does great in a small slip. If you're in slips, if not, just got a half stop, real light pull, probably a three, three, probably a four on the half stop. So that's what's going tonight. We've got the Joe Isabella, Rory Stone, power coin, or just cool ass coin, the shirt, and the bevy. But we'll do that here in a bit. Let me find, see, I can't keep up with both chats. That's what's fucked up because the uh, YouTube chat gets lagged behind big time. And then let's go all chat. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I found a way to find it quick. Todd Cars. Let's see, where was it? Drink water. All right, shows now that didn't help me. So I've got to go find Drinkwater's chat. And then I've got to find out who was under him, who was gifted that bad boy. Or if you leave a, if you write a message and you've got a little icon out by your name, that means that you are a member. Or if you start seeing my member posts, because I will have a member giveaway post next week. And it's going to be for a very cool Tucson knife. Not Tucson, a Tuya. Going to be, I think it's going to be for a Tuya. I haven't decided yet. I've got a couple of cool ones. That Mercury I thought about doing too. And I've also thought about the Ver Veritas, the Kaiser Veritas or Veritas. But we will have a good member giveaway next week. This week, we are going to do, now keep in mind, you've got to be active in the chat. Somebody's got to speak up for you. Like, if I don't know you, which I know everybody, not everybody, but I know a lot of people. But if I don't know you, I need somebody to vouch for you because I want you in here. I want you to win. But if you come in and you win and nobody knows you, we want you to win next time. We want you to win after you've come in and you've kind of, you know, hung out with the community or our little group of the community here. Let me find this random giveaway tool. Or should we go leave a link? Is there anybody we should go leave a uh, piece of love or forever? No, uh, I did resist slip joints. It was the last knife I got. I never thought I'd like fixed blades, and I became fully entrenched in them. I never thought I'd like a slit joint, and I have probably, I probably kept around about 15 of them, but I like modern folders probably the best. But I also like uh, EDC fixed blades very much. So my daily carry typically consists of a slip joint and it's overkill because i don't need this shit i live in the city but i carry a slip joint in my left pocket i carry my primary carry in my right pocket and then i'll carry my fixie either on my appendix right to the right of my belt buckle or more often in my back pocket like so Robert, what is up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Thank you, Pizza. I'm glad you're here, buddy. Be here anytime and see just by chatting up. To me, you're like in the crew. If you happen to come up in this win, I feel like I know you. And I'm sure a lot of the people will be like, oh, I don't know that guy, but I got you, man. What we need to decide is, can y'all think of anyone that we want to go leave a comment and pick from that comment? Or do we just want to do the random? Uh, I'll tell you what we could do. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find a video of mine that's got no comments. 
Let's see, let's see. Uh, it's got comments. All right, I'm this one, this has got my least views, I think, right here. Hold on, let me find it. Now, I'm probably not going to be able to filter by the type, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask y'all to jump over to this video, and I'll pin it in the uh, at the top. But jump over to this video; it should be an unboxing. Give it a like and uh, leave a comment. And in the comment, if you would. Why didn't that go through there? In the comment, type Javon, because if we pull a comment and it doesn't have Javon in it, we'll know it was an older comment. So somewhere in the comment, just let me see how many we have in there now. Hold on. So right now it's got 19. You know, let's see. Nine comments now. So you guys jump over there, leave a comment, drop Javon in there, and then we will pull from that group and we will drop it in there and start collecting these bitches. Hold on a sec. Don't start yet. I'll put a start in there in just a second. So hold on, hold on. Let's go share, copy, drop it in there. In the word, it doesn't have to be capitalized. No hashtag. Whoops, I just dropped my glasses. Javon. We're going to do 30. We're going to do the wheel. All right, we got 12 unique comments with Javon. Y'all drop those bad boys in there. I'm going to share right now so y'all can see what we're collecting. Uh -uh. Oh, this is different. That's right, because I'm doing the uh, I'm doing the linky linky. So this is the video we're going to. Can y'all still see that? Let's see. Nope. Let's stop sharing. Let's share. This is the video we're going to right here. And it is called Unused Unboxing an Unusual Knife from Right Knives. I'll give you all a preview of what it is. There is no body hardware on this. This is that one that MC had to get stitches over because he tried to jam to get the backspacer off. But y'all watch a little of that video, give it a like, leave a comment, and we will draw. I didn't hit start, but y'all start anytime you want to. I'm going to go here and check and see what we got going live this evening. We got bees is live with 244 people. Where's Maddie? I know he's coming up at some point. By the way, in the uh in the gossip drama, Chris Kardashian is starting to sweat boys. Just saying because of her involvement at Diddy's parties. Is Maddie in here? There he is. Oh, 10. See, I never know what that means. Let me click on that and see how far away that is. Live in 115 minutes. That's right under two hours.
So is everybody getting comments in? Let me go check my comments. We did have 12. We still only have 12 guys. We got 56 people in here. We only have 12 comments. So y'all go to this link. It should be pinned at the top. Leave Javon in the comment because I've got it filtered. So it won't mess up with the earlier comments. And if you've already left one comment and it didn't have Javon in it, it doesn't have to have a hashtag. It doesn't have to have the S, just J-U-H-V-O-N. Go drop that in that video and like it because we are at 12 unique comments. Which don't be making sense. Let's see. Let me try something different here. Where was that? My channel. Videos. Guys, some, whoever talked about tacos earlier did me wrong. All right, let me copy that and share it. Copy. Put it over my random comment picker. Put Javon in there. Filter duplicate users. J U H V O N. All right, we're up to 49 comments. We're doing much better, guys. Defense Tactical Systems, welcome from Guam, buddy. Glad you are here. If you get the chance and you're so inclined, subscribe to the channel, buddy. I do live sometimes. I don't know what time it is in Guam, but I'll be, I've been known to go live very late. Twang Thang just gifted a membership. Twang Thang, thank you, brother. And that was, Jesse received that. Jesse is now a channel member for a month to see if he likes it. You get early releases to videos and get in on the member giveaways. So make sure you look out for that member content, which is usually giveaway posts. I'm going to try to get back into short blogs, thoughts. And y'all let me know, is the table down for a review? Is that boring as hell? Or does it make it easier for y'all to see the night? For me, it's something that I think just is cuts to the chase. But I can do some face and disassemblies over here and make this big when I'm doing it. And it wouldn't have that blue tint because that's the uh, the blue light. But I don't like I don't like the resolution of that. I just it's just doesn't give me a warm fuzzy. But again, I heard it from another content creator that oh yeah you gotta switch it up blah 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 i'm like eh, whatever 115 saturday it's 10 15 here so 11 12 1. so yeah it would be hard for you because sometimes i'll go like at 12 or 1 in the morning which would be three or four year time unless you get up real real early i can't pat i'm hoping you're thinking table down and Ed, I try to show my face every Friday. Just It's just on the reviews since I don't do edits or my unboxings. It's just easier to set it up on the other side and focus everything down, right? Instead of I could do it here as a record and go, hey, guys, today we're going to talk about this knife. And then I can set it over here and make this go big. But I just wonder if it would slow down the overall process of you guys getting the information on the knife. Because I know time's valuable, guys. I mean, it's hard for me to catch up on all the different knife content that I want to catch up. Thanks, S.A. Jaeger. And you guys, let me know. I mean, we get together, or I, I at least try to go live. I didn't this week. Um because uh, Work Knife Balance was live the night I was going to. I try to go live 
Friday night, every Friday night. And then I, every other Friday night or every other Saturday night, go live with Lefty. Sometimes I do it by myself when he's busy. And Monday, I don't know if Pocket Metal is going to join me or I'm going to have to do that as a light. But I'm out here a lot. So if you ever see anything, speak up. I don't look at it as trolling. Oh, dude, don't talk about Mexican pizzas. Dude, let me show y'all what Pocket Metal sent me. And I need to go learn how to make it. Hold on, let me get to my Instagram. And then we'll draw. Hold on, kids. Let me find this. And I thought, brother, uh, maybe he's going to be in here in just a second. Uh, Jason Grant's going to come in. Unless he got tied up, which he very well could have. Where is pocket metal? Pocket metal. All right, here we go. Where was it? Where was it? Maybe it was James B. It was a beautiful handmade Mexican pizza that looked just like a good version of let me find that son of a bitch all right it must have been James let me check where is it where is it I'm not gonna find it man and it's the most delicious. Let's see if I go to explore and search Mexican pizza if it pulls it up just by chance. Let's go. Where do I put in this this the search? Search Mexican pizza. And I know I'm not going to find this exact one, and this exact one is what looks so good. But this is going to end up making me want to bail out of here. Let me find that biatch. Now, keep in mind... I do not do olives, right? So I would be blowing off the olives, but check this bad boy out. I wouldn't do the sour cream either. You got your ground beef, taco seasoning, three cups of water, one can of beans. I wouldn't do the beans. I guess I'd do the enchilada sauce because that probably gives it some base. Diced tomatoes, shredded cheese. I would do the Mexican cheese, eight flour tortillas. Looks pretty banging, man. And they've got some real winners in here. I'm not into the refried beans. Let's let me go. Let me search a little bit more specifically. Let's go Taco Bell. Oh, fuck. All right, let's do that. We're getting somewhere now, guys. One of these looks like the one I saw. That doesn't look like it. That doesn't look like it. They went a little too heavy on the meat. But is it just me or do you guys like Mexican pizzas? Man, I can drizzle those things with mild sauce and that verde sauce and just go to town. I guess you could do them with steak too. God, I shouldn't be doing that. It just makes me hungry. Corey, we've got some of the best trucks here there's one called el toro and they're like three of them and they're just absolutely authentic as shit and they're delicious little street tacos i love them 
I never order chimichangas. It is two Mexican pizzas, and then if I'm feeling kind of buzzy, I'll get a big old thing of smothered tots. They're not cheap here, Space Ghost. So I want to say they're six something. Let me go and tell you how much they are. Taco Bell. Until menu. Let's see specialties. Five thirty nine here. No, that's a veggie. Five thirty nine. Look at that beautiful bitch. Man, you know something's wrong when that's just like. I don't get any of that. I might get a little guacamole. Where's their sauces? Where are their packeted sauces? Where's their mild sauce and stuff like that? That's kind of weird. Let's go. Let's go. I don't want no. This box is a pretty boss too. This sauce right here. I always like to say, give me 10 extra verde sauces and I'll buy them. That and the mild. I don't care much for the hot or the... Uh... I do like the little Cinnabons. Oh, here we go. I'm all about mild sauce and verde sauce, and they'll charge for that shit, but I'll buy it. Diablo will burn your ass. Guacamole. I'm a big fan of guacamole, but not Taco Bell guacamole. I've got limits, too. That's funny, Kyle. It is, but man, they're good. And I can stack three of those son of a bitches and eat them one right after the other. I'm thinking about doing a spring upgrade in this. I've got the lighter spring, but I gave Grateful Panic my black titanium thing. This is a purple or off blue titanium. I don't know if you can tell that, but it's kind of purple. Although the spring doesn't bother me, I just need to feel like I need a pink or something. All right, let's see how many people we have signed up. Get YouTube comments. We are still only at 49, guys. How many people we got in here? We got 71 people in here. Guys, go to the link that's packed or parked at the top and leave a comment with the word Javon in it. And the link's at the top. It's a video of mine. Just like it. And leave Javon or type Javon by itself. They are space ghosts. They used to sell them in the uh, grocery store where I could buy them by the bottle. Same with Arby sauce. I love that red Arby sauce. I can eat it on anything. But y'all go to that video. It should still be pinned. And type in Javon. Yeah, it's 20 cents a pack here, Twain thing. That's what I was just looking at on the sides menu, which is ridiculous. When you have a thing of guacamole for $1.15, they're just trying to make it difficult. And then they do the bullshit, like say they're open till 1 and you get there at 1130 and they're fucking just shut down tighter than a tick. All right, guys, we're still at 49 comments. I'm not giving it much longer. I'm going to go over here and share the screen. And all y'all need to do is type in Javon and the link that's typed up there at the top. I'll give you all about another minute. And then we will give away this knife this shirt and this coin
And guys, this is a nice little knife. Even if you don't want it or don't like it, uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we got it to 50. It didn't fuck me. But this knife is, uh, you can resell this knife for probably 99 bucks if you didn't like it. If you're not a slip joint guy. But it's a good one because it's got, let's do this. It's got a uh, full pull. So you don't have to get your nail in there. Have no spring displacement in the half stop, more in the close. Very light. And you get a shirt and a coin. All right, we're at about 30 seconds. What's up, JD? There is a link posted at the top, my friend. Go leave a comment that includes the name Javon. Blade Walker, stick by for just a second. I'm about to draw, man, in 15 seconds. So there's a link up at the top. Anybody else who wants in, um, just leave Javon in there. We're about to draw because we got people going to bed. And y'all have got me thinking about Taco Bell. All right, y'all ready? Somebody give me a yay or a nay. Ed Harrison, we're about to draw. Here we go, guys. I'm going to refresh it one more time. And here we go. Good luck, everybody. I did it for 30 seconds just for the, the drums. We should be getting close. Bang! Stephen Clayton Jr. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Stephen, are you in here, buddy? I saw you earlier. Hey, B for Baron, what's up, brother? Stephen, are you in here? I'm going to drop my email address. Even though it's... Let's see, we're going to do our new email address is, and it doesn't have to be capitalized. I just do it because it's easier to spell that way. You're welcome, Stephen. Congratulations, buddy. If you get this sent over to me tonight, no rush, but I'll try to get you out tomorrow. Might be Monday. At gmail.com. So hopefully this will be an email address it's easier for you guys to remember just the channel name javon's knife flicks no asterisk or anything like that and let me record our winner brother stephen clayton jr and guys i appreciate it i wish i could do member giveaways every week and I'm going to try to do them at least bi-weekly. And again, I'm working with a lot of different companies to try to get more stuff for giveaways. So y'all just bear with me if we go slow for a couple of weeks. So Steven. But I know like I've got a Civiti Warm Clip. This is a nice one that um, I don't carry. I use my regular one for a size comparison. Episode 70. One concept dirt. How big are you, Stephen? What size are you, roughly? Just out of curiosity. You're not a medium, are you? Hopefully, somebody is. Like I say, it's a rare bird. 
bi-weekly twice a week. It might be, dude. Like I say, when I do, uh, typically, I try to always give something away. And I've got, Jim Miller sent me, I've got a little case, um, a little Apache case. It's a small one that would be perfect for slip joints. I just don't have a box to ship it in. And I've got stuff like, uh, I mean, I've got all kinds of little stuff I can do for giveaways. So I try to always do, thanks, Crispy. I try to do something, you know, when I can every every time we go live. And I'm trying to go live one time late because I'm really not working now. And then uh, on Fridays, right? And then Lefty and I do our things every other Saturday and I join Pocket Metal. But we're all good. I enjoy it. I just enjoy, like, when I can't sleep, even if there are only 13, 14 people in here, I'd rather be online talking to you guys, gals, than I would be just sitting there on my couch trying to get tired. <laughs> yeah, I started also throwing a Sharpie in. I use, uh, I started out with the Cold Steel 4-Max and the banter, the baby banter, to show just ridiculousness, right? What's up, Autumn Wind? And then I'll do a, a bug out and a pair of two, and I'll throw a Sharpie up there, because I feel like most people know what a Sharpie size is if they don't have those. I used to have a Civivi. I gave them away a... Um, uh elementum because i look for knives that people might have you know some kind of experience with and bug outs and pair two seem pretty close um but you never know you know so that's why i throw the sharpie up there and then i measure it too but i'm not good with measurements so if somebody measures something for me thank you steven let's see if it came in let's check out our new javon email address because I had to set up another Google profile, but I think I've got it saved over here. Hey, I'll tell you all something funny, too. So, uh, I got it, Steven. I got you, buddy. Um, remember how I told you all I got scammed a few weeks ago out of 400 bucks from that uh, tech scam? So, today I'm sitting there doing a little work and i get an email from my senior agent and it's the same thing asking for my phone number because he needs to text me something so i get on the my google and i find the local huntsville police department the non-emergency number and then i found a mobile number that was in there and so i sent him that back and then i never heard anything back But I figured, fuck him. Send him to the cops, dog. It was either that or come over here and get this number. I've got it right in my house. If you'll step right inside the door, I will give it to you. Times 15. And they'll all be freedom pills. From my freedom pill dispenser. So are you all going to be up for Maddie tonight? My problem is I'll go and I'll eat. And then I'll come back and I'll get real groggy and I won't want to chat because my fingers are tired. I'm just worn out. And then next thing I know, I'll fall asleep on the couch and that sucks. So I'm going to try not to do that tonight. Let's see what we got. We've got allegedly some more war shit going down. We've got Stevie and Maddie coming up in 90 minutes. Doesn't that suck? I mean, and you, you think of the time that it takes to do stuff like that. It's just frustrating. Funny thing. As a matter of fact, I was going to do that tonight. But I don't know if I'm in what tuning I'm in. And what's cool about my little soundboard, if I want to, I can plug in my little Yamaha from the back end. Let's see if we're... Okay. 
Can y'all hear that? Can't hear it. Yeah, it's probably because my echo is canceling it out. If I turn the echo off, it'll probably make a screeching sound. Let's see. I'll give it one more try. Do echo off. All right. Turn this down. Can you hear that? Rip, Nicky Betts. No hearing it? That sucks, dude. I'll do it on, uh... Can you hear my tone voice? In the event, there's a loss of cabin pressure. Oxygen mask will drop from the overhead. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Only as oxygen is flowing, even if the mask is not inflating. Sure to adjust your own mask before helping others. I've got to reach out to Ray at Everyday City Carry and find out why all my effects don't work. I mean, I have some of them that work. Tell me, can you hear this? <laughs> and you'll be able to, you should be able to hear this one. And you should be able to hear this one. But you won't hear this one. And you won't hear this one. But you will hear this. And you'll hear this. Very important to us. Please hold. Yeah, it's weird, guys. I don't know what it is. I think it's my. Let me get my mic set back up. It has something to do with the way that my audio is routing on certain ones where it can out. Good. This should be back to good. This should be back to good. Well, I've got the good thing is that that guitar has got to pick up. And my, I've got two electrics, and I've got a little amp where I can run my effects into the back of this. So next time I'll have it hooked up where I can play it, y'all can hear it. Because it'll be coming through my input, and then I can just adjust it with my slider. Did it work with you, Gracia? <laughs> yeah, and I read through that road thing. They've got a great owner's manual on uh, online, and it just is a... Uh, it's confusing because I'll go through and I'll set it up and I'll follow it. And then I'll look at the ones that work and I'll make sure the other ones are copied just like it. And it's just nothing. Um, Steven won the giveaway, Greg. Good thing I wrote it down because my short term memory is non existent. Steven Clayton, and he's already emailed me. Let's see what happens if I plug in an electric with no effect. Just for shits and giggles while we're killing Paul.
I don't have a preamp on it, and I don't have my amp power in it, so you might not be sure. I don't think I have a battery in that. First of all, y'all start giving me some kind of like sign if you hear hiss right when I plug this in. I've never gone this route before. I don't think y'all can hear that, can you? Check, 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 check. All right, so you can hear that, right? All right, let's turn off the other music. Easy, Chippy. All right, let's see what we got here. Hold on, kids. There we go. Did y'all hear that? Oh, here's that.
Well, it's playing through, but it's just not getting it, I guess. Yeah, I'll figure out the amp deal. We'll get it going next time because I'll pump it through that. It should be that I could turn the gain up on this, though. See if I go way up. Check. Do it next time, kids. Because I know if I run my amp into it, we'll have we'll have good good sound. So we will just go with that. We will kill that, mute that, so that you don't hear this. <sighs> Can y'all still hear me? Yeah, we got here. Check a check. Is it me breaking up? Hold on. I got to get this other mic out. All right, can y'all hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, it is twang thing. And the only reason I've got it on is because uh, brother Pocket Metal or Jason, I thought was gonna maybe join us. Free bird. I had to play, just do some ad lib rap. Jiggy Jiggy Slim Shady, hotter than a set of twin babies in the Mercedes Benz with the windows up and the tent goes up to the mid 80s. Call them men ladies. Sorry, Dot, but I've been crazy. Knife Nut, what got you with the multi rows? They are awesome. Did y'all see the knife I posted on IG today that my buddy got? Check this beautiful bitch out. You find it. And I urge you guys, I'm going to drop him in here in case y'all get a chance to go follow him. But this is my local buddy who goes to Blade Show with me. And check this out. When I went by to pick up that uh, barber today, This beautiful beast out. Where is it? Oh, it was on YouTube. Damn it. Let's go to me. Shorts. Share. Check this beautiful guy out. Whoops. Bye. That's that black DLC coded. Padre. Such a good knife. So there's definitely that. And then what else is I going to show you guys? I know what I was going to look at. I was going to go to, let's go to Blade Binge. I'll show you all some knives that I sold my buddy and he's got for sale because they were too small for him. I could probably buy them back, but is anybody looking for a TRM nerd? Is anyone looking for a TRM nerd? Or a bombshell from uh, Spiderco, which is known as a danger pickle back in the beard of gear days. Let me find these bitches. 
Now, what's wild about this, these knives right here, FYI, well, can you see that Kaiser October? All right, that's being sold for a hundred and twenty bucks used, one hundred and twelve. You can go to Kaiser's website right now, and it's on sale for fifty percent off for eighty-seven dollars. I don't know if I told y'all that, but I will. Uh, I will show it to you. And then I'll give you a link. So if y'all are in the whole October thing, which I've got a video coming out on a prototype tomorrow. But if you go to October, it is on sale. Do not buy the one at Blade HQ because you can get a brand new 20 CV titanium. They're still in stock. And they're 87 beans. I can get you a link. Hold on. How do I do that? Oh, All right, let's do this. Let's go. It's a long ass link. I'm going to throw it in there anyway. If anybody wants that knife, it's going to be a huge link. Gotcha. I sent you a link, buddy. But we're about to get out of here, my friend. I know you've probably been on the road. So that'll take you to the $87 Kaiser October. Not that you can copy and click on that. But if you can, it is a honking link and I couldn't shorten it. Um. But what I was going to show you guys was, where is it? Where is it? So this is the lamella that the review comes out later this week that the unboxing y'all just went and left a review on. But this is a very unique knife. I don't like the trailing point, but the handle is so much like the uh, Padre. The handle is so ergonomical, and it's got that, not integrated, but that kind of one-piece backspacer. It is a banger. And then I was able to hang out with my first Chris Reeves for about a week, and I'm now a fan. I get it. I get the whole Chris Reeves thing. And yesterday was Countess Anne's birthday. I don't know if y'all wished her a happy birthday. But she turned 34. And I wish her a happy birthday, by God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry that I get off cough on that tangent, guys. That one will drag me down the rabbit hole. Y'all know what that is? It's Does anyone know what that is? That is a volcano. It is an herbal vaping device. It fills bags with vapor. Paul, let me show you again, buddy. So you've got this uh, convection heater, right? And you set your flower right here. And then you set your temperature. And then this thing screws down right here. But on top of this, you stick a little like baggie on it, a big bag. And so when you set it on there and turn it on, the bag slowly fills up. And then when you take the bag off, this comes off with it and you can pull it and it releases a little bit of vapor at a time. 
it's really pretty cool. Let's go. Let me show you. It's, let's just let's just jump into it. Let's just fucking talk about it. Almost got a sticky brick. But this is the bong diggity right here. I think it's about six hundred bucks. Five fifty nine. Hoping I could find a video. Let's do this. See, there's the bag. So you stick the bag on there, turn it on, or you can just do it with a whip. Hold on. It's one of the coolest devices I've used, put it that way. Can y'all see? Nope, y'all aren't seeing the right thing. Boom. Let me share it again. Boom. 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 So you set it the way you want it, let it heat up, just show me how the fucking thing works, I don't want to see the, and it's ready, and he'll stick his little bag on there, that's the little... Watch this. That's the thing that you keep with you. You go boom. So that's putting cool. It's ready. And you've still got more in there. So you just cover that because that's like a little thing to keep it from coming out. And then you just take turns taking little puffs off. It's so cool. So y'all didn't expect to get that education tonight. I dropped us down about 30 people with that. Solo 2 is great. The one I loved that I traded because I didn't want to have it around. I'm a Dynavap guy now. Um, but a really, really good one for uh, one person is the... Uh, let's go... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Where is it? Let me go to this picture. And let's go to tabletop. This little guy right here. Everything is done in these stems that have screens in them. That's a gong stem for water, but they've got cooling ones. It's just a, it's a really efficient system. I.e. you can micro with it. Yeah, in the day I would too, but I've gotten to be more of a sipper now. The Da Vinci Portable is great. I've not tried the Carta. I think so too, JD. Roman M, what is up, buddy? Good to see you guys. Well, guys, I'm going to run down and get some food and get ready for said faction. No, you would never do that on a vaporizer. That would be very wasteful. I was one, I, I, I like to do it the traditional way. And I had a lot of friends that would get it with me and they'd get the same amount I would and they'd dump it in a fucking cup with baking soda and water. And I'd just be like, that's crazy. And then they'd be jonesing and I'd still be kicking along, but I just never went that route. 
I did snow cap from time to time, you know, a little, a little dabber or a little bumper on a BT, but that didn't really do much for me. Kevin Smith and Knives, welcome, buddy. Rip Dickie Betts all day long. Blue sky. I saw the brothers with Warren, with what I saw them with Warren Haynes, Dickie Betts, original bassist, all the originals. Then I saw them with O'Teal. I never saw them after Dickie left. I was a big Dickie fan. I love all you guys. Y'all look out for each other. Look out for the guy or gal to your left, guy or gal for your right. Look out for one another, guys. Be sweet to each other. Never know what everybody's going through. Treat them with kindness. Treat them with love. I love each and every one of you. I will see y'all over at Maddie's, and I will say howdy. I love y'all. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Peace.